हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेक गुरु प्लीज क्लिक ऑन द लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब बटन हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय टुडे सेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट फाइल हैंडलिंग इन माय लास्ट वीडियो आई टोल्ड यू how can we read data from a file and today we will learn how can we write data in the file so let's start the session so first of all i open my python file i go to file option new file so friends the first step to work on a file is opening that file so i am going to open my file i am specifying its location is file1.txt now i am opening my file for writing that's why i am specifying w here w is the mode in which mode i want to open the file it means i want to write in the file now for writing something in the file i have write function write then i specify a message this is line 1 for writing the second line f dot write this is line 2 after writing your messages now save the file now i run the program no error it means my code is correct no output because i have not given any print statement i am writing these messages in my file file1.txt let's open this file so i go to d drive python folder and here is my file let's open it look file is there but there is no data why because after writing data we have not closed the file if you remember in my last video i suggest you to always close the file this is the reason so i close the file now i save it i run it again let's open the file and check look we got the output but if you see carefully what has happened i have given two different messages but these two lines are printed in the same line it means in file handling i have to manually specify slash n for new line so i put slash n I save the program and run it again. Let's open the file. So I got both the lines in the different lines. Correct? So friends, in this way we can write any message in the file. For writing something in the file, we have one more function that is write lines. If I change it to like this, I save it. I run it. Check the file. the output is same it means either i use write function or write lines i get the same output but there is one very important difference between write and write lines the difference is that the parameter that we specify with write it should be of string format it means write function can write string messages only but with write lines we can specify string we can pass on list and so on we can specify different types of data with write lines let's see the example i declare a list here now with the help of write lines i want to write this list so i specify here list and before second line i am giving this new line character now i save my program i run the program no error let's check the file look friends i got the output list in the first line and this is second line in the second line it is working but if i change this function from write lines to write I save it, run it. 
look i got the error right argument must be str not list it means my this write function can write only string messages all right friends so always remember whenever you want to write only strings then use write if you are not sure about the type of data that you are writing then always use write lines So friends, in this way we can write data in a file. But have you noticed what has happened? Whenever I am running my program, it is giving output of that particular program. It means, if I once run my program and write two lines in the file, it, it gives the output. After some time, I again open the same file. So what's happening? When I am opening it for the second time, the previous data is not available in the file every time it is getting the new information the old one is getting removed that is because i have specified the mode as w writing mode so w mode always opens the file and removes its previous data it means in real life if we use write mode what would happen the previous data would be erased and every time you run the program it will get only new information so that is not practical to overcome this problem there is one more mode that is a a is our append mode and in easy way you can say add the data in the previous data so append mode means it will open the previously stored file and whatever information you want to write it will add it in the last so it will not remove the previous data so this is the safest method to work with files let's see it so right now my file is having these two lines i close my file now let's change the mode from w to a I want to write simple strings that's why I am using write function only so two lines are already available in the file now I said this is line 3 this is line 4 I save the program I run the program no error let's check the file file burn look i'm getting the four lines these two lines are from the previous program and these two lines are written just now so friends in this way append mode helps us to append the new information in the file append is not the single mode so till now we have studied three modes read write append but in actual python provides us so many different different modes first is r for reading as we have done just now reading in the text mode rb means reading the file in the binary mode r plus means we can read the file and we can write the data in the file rb plus means reading and writing in binary mode w means writing in the file wb writing in binary form only w plus allows us to read the data and write the data in the file and it creates a new file if it is not available wb plus means write the data in binary mode and you can read also a is the append mode you can append the new information at the end of the file a b append the file in binary mode only a plus in this mode you can read the data and you can also append the data in text mode and a b plus means you can read and append in binary format all right friends friends there are some more functions available in the python for file handling one of them is tell tell function tells about the current file pointer position it means consider we open a file and we are reading something or we are writing something in the file and we want to know the current location current position then we can use the tell function let's see the example consider i open my file onetxt file in reading mode let's check the cursor position f dot tell will return its position and we want to print it so i specify the print function 
all right let's save the program and run the program look i got zero because when we open the file it means our cursor is in the starting of the file at zeroth location that's why i am getting zero here now let's read something i said print f dot read five it means i want to read the next five bytes from the file and now check the current cursor position i save the program i run the program look i got this output so what's happening here let me open the file so in the first statement i opening my file in the reading mode then i get its cursor position and print that location in the starting my cursor is here zero that's why i got zero then i said read the next five bytes and print it on the screen so next five byte means a double p l e five that's why i'm getting this apple here after that i get the cursor position so my cursor is at this location it means fifth location that's why i am getting five here so in this way tell function tells about the cursor position after tell the next function is seek function tell function tells about the location of the current file pointer and seek function helps us to jump to a new location we can move further or we can move backward also seek function accepts two parameters the first is offset offset means number of bytes that we want to jump further and position means location from where we want to jump like if i specify 0 it means i want to jump so many bytes from the beginning if i specify 1 it means i want to jump from the current position and if i specify 2 it means backward i want to jump from the end of the file it means if i want to go to directly second last character second last position then i can use this end of file let's see its example so this is my file let's work on that file after 10 i get its starting location then f dot read read the next five bytes then i set then i write f dot seek then i set seek 12 comma 0 then check the location and get the data so what's happening here first of all i am opening my file i am getting its current cursor position i am reading five bytes then i said seek 12 comma 0 it means i want to jump 12 bytes further from the starting of the file then i will get its location and print the data let's run the program i got the output let's understand this output i open the file this is my file what's happening in the first statement i open the file tell function gives this zero because cursor is in the starting of the file then i read the next five characters it means apple that's why i get apple here now my cursor is here at fifth location then i said f dot seek 12 comma 0 it means i want to jump 12 bytes from the starting of the file starting means from here it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 so this is my 12th location so my cursor comes here then f dot tell that's why i am getting 12 then f dot read 5 so it is reading the next five characters 1 2 3 4 5 5 all right friends so in this way seek function helps us to jump from one location to another right now i specified 0 now i want to jump from my current position i specify 1 here let's save the program and run it i got an error what happened just look at this error can't do non zero current relative seeks it means it is saying you cannot specify any other value except zero it means right now 
we can jump from the starting of the file only why because while opening our file we specified the mode as reading mode r and by default it is read in text mode so whenever we open a file in text mode and we want to jump from the current position that jumping is based on bytes and file i have opened in the text mode so both these things are not compatible with each other so that's why it is saying specify zero here just jump from the starting of the file but if you want to jump from the current position or you want to jump from the end of the file change your file opening mode just specify r b look now i am opening my file in the binary mode all right rest of the things are same i save my file look i got the output let's understand this first of all i opened my file in the read binary mode then i said print f dot tell get its starting location i get zero then i said f dot read five read the next five characters in binary mode it is binary mode that's why b is written here and this string message also has single quotes after that i said f dot seek 12 comma 1 it means from my current position i want to jump 12 bytes further so my current position is this so my 12 bytes would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 this one so now my cursor will be here it is 17th location then I said print f dot tell I got its location and it is 17 after that I said print f dot read 5 read the next 5 bytes so next 5 bytes means 1 byte for a after that there is a new line character so it is giving a space then slash r slash n and then t this one t alright friends so two things are very important that you have to look for number one whenever you open a file in text mode you cannot use any other value here with seek when you open the file so you have to open the file in binary mode and when you open a file in binary mode that time whenever you are reading for next line it will give these escape sequences all right now let's do something else we come here now i said f dot seek jump five bytes before end of the file so i want to jump backward so i cannot specify five i have to specify minus five then get its position and read the remaining file I save the program look I got this output what's happening till here it is clear after this point I said f dot seek minus 5 comma 2 it means from end of the file I am jumping to 5 bytes backward so from here jumping 5 bytes 1 2 3 4 5 so my cursor will be here then I said f dot tell get its location so starting from here its location would be 59 that's why i am getting 59 here then i said f dot read read the further file in binary mode so now it is reading from here to end of the file i am getting line 4 single quotes and b specifies that the file has been opened in the binary mode all right so friends in this way you can open a file you can read its data you can write the data you can append your file you can jump from one position to another position and these things you will not get in any other video it is exclusively for you friends i hope you would have enjoyed the video in my next video we will do a small file handling project in which we will use reading writing append moving from one location to another so please don't miss that 
and please click on the like share and subscribe button please give your feedback in the comment box your feedback is important for us thank you so much for watching keep learning